Colin Cooper has gone down injured now inside in the big square. And the big thing now, Gary, is how serious is his injury? from under me and straight away there's there's a lot of pain so I know I'm in trouble. I was in a serious amount of pain. I kinda knew there was that big damage done. Might be a knee injury or a hip injury from here but it's hard to see. As soon as he went down you could hear everybody nearly holding their breath. And you say to yourself, Christ there's something seriously wrong there. One of the biggest names in Gaelic football is set for a prolonged spell on the sidelines. Colin Cooper will have surgery on his knee. The Gooch is expected to be ruled out for the entire season. The surgeon said, I can't dress it up any other way. You've done your crucial. I'm not going to play the rest of this year. I can get you back, but you're going to have to give me a full 12 months with this. There was a feeling of shock, really, and despair in many ways. Very bad news, I think, from Kelly's point of view and indeed from the Cork's point of view. I, I'm sure it's going to be extremely frustrating for him because he's just not used to it. I think he was looking forward to captaining Kelly. I mean, this is this is devastating news, really. I did think it, he'd be out for a spell like I wouldn't have anticipated how long it was going to be. And relax it now. That's the adductor and all, that's the groin. Yeah. And there's, that's the bit of hamstring in the back there as well. The whole year's gone. Yeah, it's going to be gone because I fractured the knee as well as doing the cruciate. Um, so that just complicated things. Fingers crossed that I'll be back early 2015. But the last couple of months have been difficult, but the last five or six weeks has seen big improvement. That's it. That's wonderful. There you go, pushing up through the heels. That's one, two, good. You must build this first. It's steps. You want to go to the next step, which you can't until you get this step first. And that's what it is. I never thought of anything about being the end, but when he listed out the number of injuries, committing to the right glue. It wasn't so far away from it, I don't think. It was pretty close. Colin Cooper. I think if that injury happened 20 years ago, I would have to retire. That's an absolute peach. And it's the captain who's got it. Side-footed it into the corner. That's precision. I remember playing 76 games in a row in championship for Kerry and never missing one. <laughs> How am I going to fill this void in my life? I, I, I know no different. Even from six or seven years old, I knew that I wanted to play Gaelic football. That time in Killarney, there used to be buses that used to go around to the estates and pick up the kids and bring them to the pitch and train Saturday mornings and drop them home. And that was the highlight of our week. He was always into sport. Soccer and football were his big things. When you have a younger brother like that, you always bring him everywhere, whether it's training or going to matches or anything like that. He used to always tag along. At that stage, your heroes are probably the guys you know in, in your own club. My own brothers were playing senior and winning medals and winning championships that time, so they're your initial heroes. Of Ireland Cup Champions, 1992. I was a mascot that day in Croke Park in 92. I wanted to go on and achieve what these guys were doing and playing Croke Park and playing club championship final. I'm willing to leave no stone in turn to get back to full fitness and um, it's just because I love it so much. I'm, I'm just not ready to let go. Just 
lots of letters of goodwill from people all over. The thing that blew me away was the people saying, look, I, I know I'm from Dublin or I know I'm from Galway or whatever, but get back, get back. We need to see you back on the field. Just reminding you of the good days and reminding you that they'll come back as well. It was incredible. I couldn't really get over that. Little kids writing me cards and pictures of fellas with red hair with sore knees and plasters on their knee and things, yeah, which was quite funny. It kind of gave me a lift and a lot of stuff. There was good humour in as well, which is what I probably needed at the time. Every night Kerry trained, I was training on the side of the pitch doing my own stuff. There's tons of it and building up confidence for your brain as well to say, yeah, my knee can take this. And it's recovering and it's building again. You're training your body, you're training your mind to say, okay, it's, it's back to work time, it's back to work. And in the fairness, I did make big progress, but it's work that I didn't enjoy doing. The actions in the field, the actions with your teammates, that's where I wanted to be. August, I've been two good months training, progressed really, really well. And then in the replay of the Mayo game, I just remember him saying, so I want you to tag out today. Getting that jersey above and limbering that thing. Even though that I was never going to play, I was like I was like a child, like, I'm playing with Kerry again, even though I wasn't even playing. It certainly gave me a big lift. Shrimps him off, and Kerry does it, smiles, and Donahue is there! Under pressure, hits it. On the victory, there was so much emotion that day because it was such a great match. Carrier back in the other and nobody expected it to be there. Straight away, by the time I get to the dressing room, the focus is on. Hang on now, there's not on the final here. We have about four weeks. Is there any chance? Looking at the ball, excellent. Back down to two, one, two, and back. Excellent. One, two, three. So I got to the surgeon. He took a look at the knee again. He said, I knew it was good, but it's actually better than what I thought. Go for it. Yeah, it was kind of, like, kind of a little bit of an agreement that, OK, there might be 10 minutes here in the final, but there's no, that's it, that's it for the year. There's no going back playing club for the rest of the year. My first full training was the Tuesday night before the All Ireland final. Full contact football for 30 minutes. Nobody knew, and I think even the players, they didn't even know, really, until I went in and played and they said, Hang on, where's, where's this guy going? I suppose with him anything's possible. So he was moving all right, to be fair to him, like, yeah, and uh, he's been on for whatever it is, eight months, and he's still met Pitt playing better passes than I'm going to play all day. Watching the game very, very detailed, particularly in the position they were even coming on. So I was watching what they were doing, just looking for little snippets that if I get the call in any second, that I was able to go in and know what was going on. So I was watching the sideline, I was watching time on the clock, I was watching every little last detail. If the game circumstances were different, I might have come on and made a contribution, but the game just didn't suit it. So I was just wishing for 78 minutes and Kerry to be in front, whether I was on the field or not. To be out there would have been fantastic, but once the whistle went, I enjoyed it as if I was out there anyway. The joint captains, Fionn Fitzgerald and Kieran O'Leary, they're all Ireland champions once again. Champions for the 37th time. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank my own club, Dr Crokes, for giving myself and Fionn such a fantastic honour to captain this young Kerry side. In the absence of our inspiration leader, Colin Negoch Cooper.
since September to January, the rate of improvement slowed compared to what it was for July and August. For those couple of months, I was doing my work, but a little bit lost at the same time. In a way, it was a bad time for Kerry to finish because I was on the crest of a wave and I performed better in a team environment. If I had another couple of months of that, the progress probably would have went through the roof again. Whatever that first competitive game is going to be, it's going to be massive. That's the day that he has been thinking of. It's the first turn, it's the first twist, it's the first bang. They're going to be the, the hard ones to get over. If he can get over that, he should be OK. I kind of know the way his brain thinks. I'm pretty sure that when he gets that bang in it, he'll be, that's it, everything's OK, and you just plough on from there. The injury and the time out has certainly changed me in some regard. I'm very fortunate to get the opportunity to represent Kerry, play in Crow Park in the big days. Very lucky to play for Dr Crokes, very good side, win county titles, win Munster club titles, fight for our Ireland club championship honours. So I never take that for granted again. 31 years old, I want to play more. I think there is more in me. Certainly there's big opportunity with Dr Crokes and there's huge opportunity with Kerry and I, I still want to be part of that and I feel I can make a, a contribution towards that so why stop something that you love so much?